Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here. We are doing our last box of 2016 Tops of Men Baseball. One box break number 32 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting to the action. Mark Bear just went ham and got the last 10 spots in this break to help fill it up. So, one spot gets you four numbers. So I need to quadruple this list. So there's one, two, three, and four. So you'll see Mark's Last spot, Mojo Star, one, two, three, and four times. So there'll be 100 people on this list. So we'll randomize names, and then we'll randomize numbers right here. Let's roll the dice for each list three times, two and a one, three easy times. One, two, and three. There you go. So we've got Ed all the way down to Harry. Then we randomize one through 100, just like they were teams. And I'll alphabetize by your first name and I'll also sort by uh, number as well. So you'll see everything. Two and a one, three times for the numbers. One, two, and three. There you go, three times right there. 36 all the way down to 98. Remember, spot 100 gets any and all redemptions as well as any cards numbered to 100 and over. There are some Adam Jones relics that are like that. Okay, so this is just without sorting it. There you go. Just want to make sure everyone sees that. And then I'll sort by uh, number and I'll sort by your first names as well. So you... So don't have, don't feel like you have to keep track of the numbers right now. But I just want to show everybody this right here. There we go. Mark does indeed have number one right there. And who got spot one? Oh, Chad. Chad gets one hundred. That's pretty nice. All right. So let's sort by number really quick. So there you go. There's Mark with one. So here's one through sixteen. Seventeen through thirty-one. 32 through 46, 47 through 62, 63 to 78, 79 through 94, and there's the rest right there. And now I'll sort by your first names. There you go. So Brett, here are your numbers. Chad, it's a nice spread of number, numbers there, Chad. Ed, Fidel. Now remember, there's, there's only like five autographs per box. The odds are pretty difficult in terms of hitting, but thankfully the break is only twenty six ninety nine. You get four numbers. Jackson, there's yours, twelve forty five fifty three seventy one. Jeff Dorlack, John Parker, Joseph Johns. Nice. Mark, there are all of your numbers right there. including your last spot mojo numbers, which are 20, 49, 67, and 74. And I think there should be, yeah, 40 numbers for you, confirmed. Michael G, Volleyball Nancy, and Rory. So there you go, folks. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades in numbers. There has been a trade before. And, uh, and then we'll, I'll bring out the box. We'll do that break. So stick around. I'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not, there was a trade. Look at this. There's a uh, seven for one trade. A seven for one trade. So, Brett, Brett started the offer first, trades number two to Mark. For numbers 15 through 35. There you go. So there's the deal, folks. Now I have not seen I've not seen trades like a trade like this in a while. It's it's hard to really determine. Like who got, I mean, we're going to find out in a second who got the better end of the deal. But in terms of just on the surface value before the break, it's pretty interesting. I like it. I like that moxie though. No matter how it goes, 
I like the Moxie. So good luck to both Mark and Brett. And this is the last box from a four box uh, case, numbered three, so you know it's all from the same case. Good luck, everybody. And as everybody knows, as a consolation prize, we will be randomizing the um, the velvet pouch that comes out of here. This guy. All right, good luck. Now there's there's a redemption in there. Nice, Chad. So you already Chad already has a hit. First one's out of seventy five. And it's 49 out of 75. That's Cleveland Indians edition of Roberto Alomar. Number 49 goes to Mark Bear. And that's a last spot mojo as well. There you go, Mark. Good start. The next one is out of 99, out of 99. And it's a high number, 96 out of 99, Carlos Correa. And 96 goes to Jeff Dorlack. Ninety six out of ninety nine. All right, the redemption for Chad, who has spot one hundred, is nice mint baseball gem ten autograph Jake Arietta. There you go, going to spot one hundred. There you go. Nice one, Chad. Next one is out of 50. It's Adam Jones. And it's 21 out of 50. Number 21 goes to Brett. Brett Branchick with that one. I think that was part of the trade, right? Yeah, I think that was part of the trade. So Brett drawing first blood in the trade with the Adam Jones. Two cards to go. Two autos to go. Good luck. It's a relic and autograph out of 75. JD Martinez, 29 out of 75, two color patch and the autograph. JB169584. And number 29 is. Who has number 29 up in this? Number 29 is for Fidel. JD mostly saying best name in baseball. Nice. And the last one, folks. The last one is a relic, but it's under 100. It's out of 250. 16 out of 100. That's JB169357. So if you look this up on MLB.com slash authentication, You'll see you'll you'll see that it's from that July twelfth game actually, but you'll see confirmation of that. Nice number sixteen, that's Brett Branchick. That's also from the trade. 
And there it is, folks. That's it. That was the break. All right. Now, as we always do, we'll randomize all the names to see who gets the velvet pouch. Let's go back to random.org. Let's get a clear list from random.org. Need some new dice. Let's go right there. We'll go from Brett. Yeah, Mark does have the odds. That's for sure, John. We'll go all the way down to from Brett all the way down to Rory. Got all those names copied. That's 100 names. There we go. Let's put it in there. And let's roll the dice. We're going to randomize that list nine times. Six and a three. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, the name on top is. Drum roll. Brett. There you go, Brett. Little cherry on top of this break right here. There's the mint velvet pouch. Very nice. Uh, made from the finest American velvet. It doesn't say made in China. So it probably is, but the finest American velvet, Brett, coming your way. You have to when you receive this, let us know on Twitter or wherever social media at Jaspie's Hobbyland. Let us know what you end up doing with it. What do you put? Like maybe, maybe like I don't know. I live in an apartment complex, so if I had this, I would put uh, quarters in there because there's a laundry. There's a laundry on site on our, at our apartment. I would fill it with quarters. That's what I would do. All right. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you next time. And keep checking back on the website. We may get some more mint again in the future. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.